What's up everybody? It's Roya and I am back for another video as you guys can see by the title. We're going to be talking about work appropriate fragrance today. I was recently asked in a video about work appropriate fragrance um, kind of along the lines of what I suggest you should wear in the workplace. Um, by the choices that I've made you're going to be able to tell that I wear these to work. I like them. I feel like they work for the office. I've never had anyone tell me that they're offended or don't like what I have on. If anything, I have been complimented. So um, I don't want to complicate this intro or make it too long. So I'm just going to jump right into my choices for you. This up is a beautiful, just packaging alone, I'm like, wear it. But um, this is a beautiful fragrance and it is Vera Wang's Love Struck. And I love this. As you guys can see, I wear it quite a bit. And this is work appropriate because not only can it go all seasons, I really, really like this in the fall. But it gives you that balance of like a floral and a musk. Um, the only bad thing I can say about this is depending on your body chemistry, it could go all the way left. But... Um, for my body chemistry, it's all the way right. I love this. It is light. It's refreshing. It doesn't offend. It has a hint of raspberry in it. Oh, I really, 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 really like this. I am tempted to spray it, but I already have on my fragrance today. Oh man, this is good. I This has been put up for me. I, you guys know I have some other fragrances out right now. But this is definitely work appropriate. This is not going to offend anybody. Um, I will say the longevity is not that great. So it's not going to last on you too long. For me, it lasts um, somewhere between the four and six hour mark. So if you were going out for cocktails after work, you would definitely need to like refresh yourself. Um, it's not going to last you a whole day. But... Is it appropriate in an office setting, in a setting where you're in close quarters? Absolutely. And, of course, the, um, sorry, I'm getting it all mixed up. And, of course, the packaging is gorge. Next up, I want to talk about a Chanel fragrance. What is a fragrance video if we're not talking about Chanel? I'm just saying. Um, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Now, I know some people may say you think that's work appropriate. Like, it's the strongest fragrance on earth. Work appropriate? Yes. Um, I do think this is very, very work appropriate. This is definitely good for cocktails after work. This is definitely good for long-lasting fragrance. This is bold but not overpowering. This is not going to overpower a room. You're not going to have this on and people smell it and be offended and like, phew wee, you need to get out of the room. It's not that type of fragrance. This is a, yes, we're in a closed setting, but I feel like I want to hug you. You smell very inviting. You smell very warm. You smell very sensual. Um, this is definitely loud but not offensive at all um it definitely reminds me of like um a leo's personality anybody who knows anything about coco chanel she was a leo we stand out we are loud we are proud but we're sensual and we're soft and this to me embodies that a lot especially in a work setting so i definitely think this is work appropriate for sure and it just doesn't offend. And as you can see, I have used quite a bit. Finally, I did put a dent in this. Finally, I'd had this almost two years. And um, I'm finally using it a lot. But definitely good for a work setting. Next up is appropriate uh, at all times. This is my second bottle of this. I love, 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 love this fragrance. Especially for the workplace. I went through this wearing this to work. This is why I'm telling you this is why the passion is evoking from my spirit right now. Because this is so good for the office. This is light. This is floral. This is sunshine. In my mind when I smell this. I think of sunshine. I think of happiness. I think of a hot summer's day. Um, this is definitely appropriate for, you know, those spring and summer work days. It's hot. Um, honestly, I think this, and this is a toilet, but on me, on me, I can't speak for everyone, but on me, this 
definitely can go to cocktails after work. This definitely can go to I have something to do after work. Um, oh my God. This is so office appropriate. It's just not going to offend. It's still going to be sophisticated. It's still going to be pleasant. It's still going to be inviting. It's not going to be too light. It just... When, when all else fails... Versace Yellow Diamond. Did I even say what I was talking about? That's how much I was in. I'm into this. But Versace Yellow Diamond is not gonna offend you in the office at all, none whatsoever. And then last but not least, I have not talked about this in so long, but when I think about work, I think about this fragrance because this is another one that I always reach for for work. Always. Every time I go to work, not every time but you know what I mean like when all else fails I, I'm torn I really don't know I can go for this and I actually like to wear this kind of like an on an all year round basis um not just um spring and summer and it's um Chanel's Chance Au Fresh and this is the big one it is an eau de toilette as well but this is the five fluid ounce and when I tell you guys I guess that's why I'm glad I got it in the big one and I pull for it so much for work and I'm tempted again like I'm tempted to spray it on me but just beautiful it has a, a men's cologne undertone to it that allows it to be very friendly in a crowd of people you don't have to feel like oh I'm gonna lean towards this side or that side some people may be offended if I wear this no um, if anything people are kind of gonna be intrigued and be like who is that um, because it has that kind of like to me unisex um, scent to it this is just very, very beautiful. The The bottle is beautiful. Everything about it is just gorgeous to me. I don't see this offending anyone at all. It's a very light scent. Um, you will have to kind of re-put this on your body at some point. Maybe keep it in a Travelo. Um, because out of all of these, it doesn't, in my opinion, last the longest. But when I am wearing this and I'm wearing it out, I just keep it in a Travelo and refresh. And it's not um, that high maintenance to me like some other fragrances can be. This is just very non-offensive. I can't see anyone smelling this and saying, ugh, I don't like it. I'm just saying. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely work appropriate. All right, so those are the four fragrances that I feel like if you're thinking, what should I wear to the office? What, you know, what's kind of appropriate for me to put on and not offend? Those are four fragrances that I definitely think are um, worth smelling, worth looking at, worth giving a whiff to. Um, the Love Struck and the Coco Mademoiselle are definitely good for the fall and the winter. Um, even the Love Struck being an all year round type of fragrance and the Versace Yellow Diamond and the Chance of Fresh are more of that spring and summer if you want to categorize things um, when it comes to scents. But all of them I would wear year round. I don't really have a specification because, you know, when you're going to the office, what does it matter? You know, you just want to smell good. And I think all of those are great, great options. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, thank you so much for joining us. And do not forget to subscribe on your way out. I hope that this is helpful for some of you all. If you have any questions about any fragrances that I mentioned, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get back to it for you. Um, and I have a whole bunch of videos coming up for you guys the train doesn't end here we're gonna keep it moving and we're gonna review and just have a good time so thank you guys so much for joining me i'll see you next time